Okay guys, hello and welcome back to our Boba Fett helmet tutorial. Now this should hopefully be the last episode that we'll be working on um, today. Now in between episodes I made a few adjustments. Firstly, um, I added some extra edge loops into this section here so it can be effectively smoothed. So what you want to do for that is, is follow the tutorial that I made when we looked at the side sections here. And you just want to pop in some extra edge loops in there just to make sure that we can keep and maintain the structure that we added in the section. So as you can see now, once I hit 3 to smooth this section, and if we remove the wires we can see that that's looking nice and smooth and good to go. So, I also did that with the top section here, so we can see extra edge loops was added in there as well, as well as some colour, um, just to show us which bits which. And what I also did was merge these two sections together, so you can see here, when I smooth this section as well, you can see that that's the helmet there, looking pretty much good to go. Okay. So, first things first, what we are going to do this episode is work on the dent in this section here. So, this is going to require us to do a little bit of work, um, and something that I haven't really experimented with before, so hopefully we'll hit the nail on the head. I'm pretty sharp with this. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to draw onto this section here with our multi-cut tool and then we're just going to extrude in slightly just to give us the um, base mesh for that and that's going to allow us then to um, effectively texture over the top um, should we need to afterwards. So what we're going to do then is grab our multi-cut tool and inside our section here we are going to draw on roughly where our issue is, our actual dent is here. That should be okay there. We'll draw to here. Okay. And what we can actually do now is we can draw from the center, and I think if we was to hit this from the center here. Actually it may be better rather than doing that. Like I said there's something that I haven't done before so we'll crack on again. So it may be better actually here to draw up from the center right off the bat. So if we draw directly across to these major points again in the center here and we'll just match lines across from the center into these areas. That would mean that we can actually draw more effectively around this afterwards. And it also means that we don't need to pull any points. So in doing it this way it means that all the points that we draw the section that we require it to be. So go here So we don't need to be 100% exact with this. Okay, now that means that we can pull these points all around here. Okay, I think what we'll do now is we'll take all of these faces here so you can see that's followed itself around the helmet quite nicely there so we'll take these sections here, we'll hit Control E and we're going to extrude this in just like so and then we're going to want to scale that down Okay. And 
And then what we're going to do is, without doing anything else, we'll hit Control E again. So this is going to be a second extrusion, and we're going to take this down just a little bit more. And then again, we can scale that down here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what we'll have to do is we'll delete these extra edges that we added here. And we'll need to delete the additional vertices as well. And what we'll try here is we'll try and drag these sections out here. Okay. We may get away with this one because that's made a 4 just there. We have a 5 here, so we'll take this edge here. And we'll bring this edge down here. Now, what we'll want to do here as well is we'll want to add a loop going around this section here. And we'll maybe add one a bit down there as well. And if we hit our smooth and remove our wireframe there, we can see that we've got quite a nice little dent inside there. And what that will allow us to do is that will allow us to get some texture inside there just to make all the extra creases that we have. But we don't actually want to do too much to the model here because we don't want to distort the rest of the curve here. And that will allow us to put all of the um, broken paint and cracks and all that good stuff around there as well. Okay, it's looking good. So now what we can do is we can hit 3 on all of these elements to make sure they're all smoothed out and looking good. Awesome. Okay guys, so that concludes our Boba Fett tutorial here. Now please like and subscribe to the channel to help us bring more and more videos out there to you. And I will see you in the next one.